Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be talking about the BMI, the body mass index, which is a simple index of weight per height. It is used to classify the underweight, overweight and obesity in adults and also it is an age independent parameter. So let me, uh, let me tell you how to calculate BMI. BMI is calculated with a formula called Quetelet index. So, which is weight in kg by height in meters whole square. So, for example, a X person has weight of 65 kg and his height is 177 centimeters. So, let's calculate. 65 by 177 into 10 power minus 2 to convert the centimeters into meters we have to do this and again 177 into 10 power minus 2 so 65 into 10 power 4 by 177 into 177 so it is about 65 into 10 power 4 by 31329 which is about 20.74 so the BMI of a person X is 20.74. This is how we calculate the BMI. People, those who have a <coughs> BMI of less than 18.5 are considered as an underweight. These people have high chances of getting infection and also other co-metabolic disorders. disorders. BMI ranging from 18.5 to 24.99 is considered as normal range. So, and overweight. BMI greater than or equals to 25 kg per meter square is considered as a overweight. And BMI ranging from 25 to 29.99 is considered as a pre-obese. And BMI ranging from 30 to 34.99 is considered as a obese class 1. And BMI ranging from 35 to 40.99 is considered as obese class 2 and BMI more than or equals to 40 kg per meter square is considered as a uh, obese class 1. So as the BMI increases there is a high chance of comorbidities <clears throat> like the diabetes mellitus, hypertension, heart problems and some other metabolic disorders heart problems and some other metabolism. The person who are in the obese class 3 have high chance of uh, having the other comorbidities like diabetes mellitus, hypertension, heart related problems and, and some other metabolic disorders. So this is about the BMI and the ranges and how to how to classify the whether the person is underweight or normal weight or overweight based on the BMI. Some of the important points that we need to remember in BMI is BMI is not indicated as a weight for height index in a pregnant woman. Since the pregnant woman is carrying a baby inside the womb, so we should not consider it as an index of weight for height in a pregnant woman. And it, it cannot differentiate between muscle mass and the fat. Some people may have good muscle mass, but it is not uh, but the BMI is high. So in this case, we consider him as a overweight, but he has muscle mass, not the fat. And third point is, even the person with the normal BMI can also have a fatty organs, which also causes comorbidities. So these three points we should remember in BMI. So that's about the video. Hope you guys liked the video. Please do share with your friends and thanks for watching.